Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is May 5th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla's stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. What can I say? Tesla dropped down like crazy, so we dropped down $79.34. Uh, that's minus 8.33%. Close at 873.28. Post market, we are up by 47 cents, 873.99 now. So let's look at what we have here on the chart. So yesterday, we had a nice day yesterday. We had a nice day. The stock broke outside of this downward resistance came back above this support right here, this support right here, also came back above the double support that uh, was used a lot for the past two years, but Stochastic uh, was not above 60. It's possible that the stock starts to go even when Stochastic is not above 60. It's possible. It's possible. But the probability is that uh, it should not go very far without Stochastic above 60. So, well, it just happened today in one day. The stock could have continued a little bit and do a little bit of a top and come back down. So that could have also been possible. But now we just went straight down back into this, this downtrend channel. And we touched 856.36. This is a support that we used on May 2nd. So we are just back here. Let's look at how this played out during the day. So this is where we finished uh, yesterday, quite high. We opened today lower, started to go higher a little bit, but then we started to go down. And after the first candle, we had lost stochastic. So we lost our stochastic over 60 after the first candle. And then things just went down from there. And all of the indicators turn uh, bearish, of course. Let's go back to the daily chart. So Stochastic is taking a little bit of a plunge again after having come up for five, six days. So things were really looking up, but we could not uh, get our Stochastic over 60 before or when we broke outside of the downward channel. And it is what it is. And everything else is pretty much not very nice. Let's go see the VIX. So VIX, look at this. Yesterday, we broke outside this bullish channel for the VIX. When the VIX is going up, the stock market is going down. Basically, this is what's happening. But yesterday, we had a nice drop in the VIX, which is an indicator of the volatility of the Standards & Poor 500 index. And look at this today, a huge increase in volatility. Enormous increase in volatility. This is what precipitated what uh, happened with Tesla. Let's look at Dow Jones. Uh, Dow Jones dropped down again, still above 32,828. S&P 500 itself dropped back down and even broke down 41,61. NASDAQ Composite, pretty much the same thing. And NASDAQ 100, pretty much the same thing here. And yesterday was basically just a fluke. And as I say, one candle does not make a trend, even though it was a great candle yesterday. The trend has not really changed. And uh, we can look at stochastic here to uh, really understand that in terms of strength to go long, no index has that strength to go long. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. You can click on my TradingView affiliate link. And by the way, wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.